Hey, so today is our last type of hunger and I saved the hardest, I think for last. <laughs> and this is heart hunger. Um, this is what I talk a lot about and I usually just uh, refer to it as emotional eating because um, it usually involves those um, those big emotions, feeling uh, happy, sad, depressed, lonely, angry. Um, joy can be part of it too, like I said, but it's, it's usually, I find more negative emotions. Um, sometimes people will crave, you know, a specific sweet or dessert because that's what their families used to make. Um, I think in the in the handout it gives an example of like apple pie um, because maybe that's what your family would have around the holidays or something. Uh, I think it's really important to know that this type of hunger really can never be satisfied. What typically happens is people just kind of eat and eat and eat, usually to the point where they finally recognize like, oh my goodness, I ate you know this, this, and this, and they feel so overwhelmingly guilty, and then they stop or they just go to bed. You know, there's no real um, satisfaction that can be reached. And so it's a little bit more complicated to deal with this type of hunger and just kind of um, being able to recognize that. You know, for most people it's, it's in the evenings, it's after dinner, and people are typically distracted, which means they're watching television, on their computers, on their phones, or, or reading a book. And so trying to acknowledge whatever the emotion is that you're, you're feeling and not running from it, not hiding it, and trying to remember that it's okay. It's part of the human experience to, to feel whatever emotion it is you're going through. You know, no one feels happy all the time, um, even on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, happiness is, is a moment in time. It's not a constant state, and I'm sure there are people that would argue with that, but, you know, during the course of the day, um, you know, there's so many emotions that can run through us, um, and so just recognizing what that emotion is, and then recognizing as well if, if there's something else that you can do to bring peace to that emotion or, or comfort, um, you know, maybe it's taking, taking a bath, Maybe it's uh, doing something creative for yourself. Um, you know, if you find that you do have to eat something, you know, try to, to put the distractions away. You know, if there is a specific food item that you're like, oh, this is, you know, this is what my heart needs, um, then, you know, turn off the TV, turn up, put your phone down, you know, close the book and and really eat whatever it is and, and notice the flavors of it and the textures and be present. Um, the problem is that most people, once they have to be fully aware of what they want to eat, they they don't have that same craving for it. So um, this is one that takes a lot of practice. Um, you know, doing it, you will fail a lot at first, um, but just really trying to kind of sit with these emotions and and recognizing them and diving a little bit deeper into them as opposed to necessarily running from them can can really help bring sort of a um i don't want to say closure but may, maybe peace again is a kind of a better word for it um because like i said these these are human emotions and they are never ever ever going to be satisfied with any type of food or any amount of food and especially if you're going into surgery knowing that you struggle with emotional eating or this, this heart hunger type of, type of eating, um, you know, surgery is not going to take it away. You know, a lot of times it'll put a band-aid on it for a few months, maybe even a year, uh, just because there's so much else going on with, with the surgery and people are excited about weight loss. Uh, but this, the heart hunger, emotional eating, it, it always comes back. Um, in some in some way or another, so it's really something that you want to work on, and not just pray surgery is gonna gonna take care of. So as always, you know, I'd love to see your your comments, your posts, anything that um, you guys would like to add to this uh, complicated and um, I hope helpful uh, you know session. Questions? We would love to hear from you in the comment section below. 
Tell us what else you want us to cover. And do not forget to share and like this video.